eight practical ways you can help save the bees. We love bees, so we asked two experts practical ways to save bees. Here's what they said. Plant as many native flowers in your yard as possible. Native plants are generally easier to grow because they're acclimated to that specific climate. They are also what the bees native to that area were designed to pollinate. Bees need good nutrition, and having a variety of forage that includes native plants is a great way to provide that for them. Leave a bowl of water out for bees to drink from. Adding twigs, moss, rocks, or mud to the water gives the bees something to land on, so they're less at risk of falling into the water and drowning. To deter mosquitoes, change your water at least once a week. Do not add sugar. Leave the water fresh. Leaving sugar water out for bees can actually be detrimental, as bees do best when they drink from natural nectar sources. Buy locally grown, organic produce. Common and widely used pesticides can do serious harm to bee colonies, even killing queen bees. Any reduction in the use of pesticides is helpful to bees, so supporting local organic farmers is a great first step. Avoid using pesticides in your own home garden. With bee populations declining, it's more important than ever to keep our homes pesticide-free. Bees exist in urban environments, so the forage that they find in people's yards is critical to their nutrition. Plants that are treated with pesticides are extremely harmful to bees, and even low doses of tainted pollen or nectar can build up in a beehive over time and lead to neurological issues and whole colony collapse. Consider building a bee hotel in your garden or backyard. One of the reasons our native bee population is declining is due to habitat loss. And bee hotels, basically any space designed to home native, solitary bees, go a long way to help populations recover. If you eat honey, buy from local beekeepers when possible. Honey production is generally not harmful to bees and is a source of support for beekeepers. However, if you are concerned about the ethics of beekeeping practices, consider supporting smaller local keepers who are typically more likely to treat bees in a more gentle and humane way than larger companies. Familiarize yourself with other practices that rely on bees. Growing California almonds requires more than half the country's honeybees. These bees often travel long distances rented out to farmers by their beekeepers. This practice is pretty problematic since traveling for massive crop pollination can be disorienting and harmful to bees. Eliminating all almond production or boycotting almonds isn't necessarily the answer. There is no simple solution. Now get out there and save some bees. 